Hey guys, welcome to Mayfield Family Farm. Today we are building the rabbit dome. And so we have been, over the last few days, building all these different pipes for, they're all different lengths. And we're gonna be putting them together today in a crazy arrangement. So we'll uh, check back in a little bit later and see how it's coming. All right guys, we got the dome all constructed. We haven't finalized all the tightening of all the bolts and nuts yet, but I just wanted to give you a shot to see what it looks like. So there it is, like I said, 16 foot diameter, uh, nine and a half foot tall. Just to give you perspective, this is a chicken tractor that's 10 foot by six foot. And it almost looks like you can put a few of these inside of this. So it's a pretty massive dome and that will uh, house our rabbits. We're gonna do a colony style uh, just to show you what it looks like here pretty soon. Don't undo this one, this one makes me sick. Hey guys, just wanted to give you an update. The dome is all done. We spent the rest of uh, about two days getting the brick perimeter uh, built around it so that way it'll sit on a level surface. So just wanted to show you what it looks like. All complete. So you can see the bricks that we did all around. And the dome gets fits right under the tree with about six inches or so all around. Again, 16 feet diameter. Uh, and it is incredibly strong after I went through and tightened up every bolt. This thing could uh, withstand a lot. I've already climbed to the top of it even when it wasn't tightened and it didn't even budge or move. So pretty cool. Uh, we'll give you guys a final update once it's all done and then another update once the rabbits get put in. Hey guys, welcome back. I just want to give you guys another update on the rabbit dome. Been out here working pretty hard so I'm a little sweaty right now. But let me swing the camera around and show you where we're at so far. We have uh, gotten all the blocks laid around and uh, set the dome on top of them, got all the blocks filled with uh, dirt, and then we have gotten the ground in here close to level. Uh, we're eight inches over on this side and about six inches along the, the ring back there. And uh, now we're gonna be rolling some chain link fencing around the inside, entire inside to cover the floor. And then once the entire floor is covered with chicken wire, then we're going to backfill it with about three inches, four inches of dirt. That way the rabbits can uh, dig around, but not really burrow, not dig out, as well as keep other animals from digging in. Uh, I also got the door finished since the last time. All right, let me get this door shut. So basically what I did was uh, I shortened a couple of the bars and made some custom bends here, uh, and then came down and bolted it through there. And then I'll show you on the inside where we use some conduit uh, straps to strap the door frame on. So that's what it looks like right now, the door so far. And then uh, we're gonna continue wrapping the mesh here. Got four rolls that's going to wrap around. That'll take us up to about eight foot, which is right around this area. And then the top eight feet, 10 feet, we're going to uh, either do tarp or do shade cloth, just depending on how it works out. More than likely we will do tarp. That way there's always a dry spot in the middle that they can always get to in case it's raining pretty hard. So that's the update. All right guys, well again, thank you for checking us out. Hopefully the next time that we do an update, the floor will all be done and either the shell will be finished or we'll be in the process of finishing that. So don't forget to like us on Facebook and uh, click follow on YouTube. Thanks guys, see you later.